Greetings, everyone, and welcome. So, what is Dynamic RAM, and what does it do, and doesn't do, in Vegas Pro? I'll show you. Firstly, I'll show you where you can change it. You go to, up here, in Options, Preferences, click on Video, and here you can set the amount, 75% max, and zero. What Dynamic RAM does, or do, or whatever, is letting you render part of your timeline to memory. You just highlight a section like this, I'm going to show you, or like this. You see I got this part, and you hit Shift and B, and you will see the slider moving. It's going to stop depending on how much you have allocated. I'm just going to stop it now. Let me try and let me try and set it to low so you can see. Go preferences, video, and I'll just take like two percent. Okay, I'm gonna highlight this part. I'm gonna hit Shift B and what's the, what's the cursor? Let's stop in a second now. There we go. See, I highlighted this section, but it, it only memorized this part. It's because, obviously, it's because the we allocated, we didn't allocate very much RAM or megabytes to the RAM. Or, you know what I mean. But you can make it, you can make it uh, memorize more for the same amount if you set the preview, uh, the preview quality down. Right now I have it at the maximum. If you take it down to draft and quarter, for example, it's very, very bad. See, this is uh, this is the old one. We try and go this again and hit shift B. See, goes goes a lot further than before. It's obviously because it's not having to render as many as as a high quality. So. But if you're doing a project and you got a lot of stuff going on, transitions, heavy effects and all that, and you try to you try to you know play it back to pay attention to to the screen. I'll try and play this back and see how laggy it is. Very choppy. You can see the frames down here. It's very very choppy. So if I will do this, I will highlight this, hit shift B, I'm probably going to speed this part in the video because it's going to take a while. Okay, I'm going to hit shift B now. And it's done, took the whole part. Let's, let's try and play it back again. What's the frames or what's the, uh, the smoothness? So it's running at perfect 60 at the highest uh, preview. And that is pretty much what Dynamic RAM does in Vegas. It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't, it doesn't give Vegas more RAM to work with. It doesn't help render time. But there is a caveat. If you set your, if you set, to set your Dynamic RAM to 0%, you don't want to ever want to do that because that's, that is going to, hamper your render time a lot so set it to like five ten percent just leave it there if you're never going to use it just put it at five percent i test this i test i did a small render test the other day and i did it with zero percent that was 47 seconds and i put it up to 10 percent it was it was like 11 seconds so it's a huge difference so never ever set it to zero and i can only speak for Vegas Pro 21, because that's the one I know. I haven't, I haven't used the, the other ones. I used Sony Vegas when this was called Sony Vegas 13 many, many, many years ago, and I didn't do stuff like this. I had 17 very, very briefly. I didn't do anything like this. And then I bought 21 recently, and that's the one I work with, and that's the one I'm gonna try to debunk some misinformation out there about it so there you have it so that's uh, that's my take on dynamic ram 
I hope you, uh, I hope anyone finds this video helpful. This is my actually my first time doing a proper how-to, what I want to call it, a how-to tutorial kind of thing. I actually made a script and everything. I've started and restarted this recording so many times because I keep stalling and fumbling over words. I made a, I made a script. I wrote down everything I had to say. And still, is, <laughs> still I'm fumbling, so bear with me. Anyway, I hope you like it. Do give it a, do give me a comment if you find this helpful. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.